I hated school when I was a kid. It was so boring. We just sat there, lined up, sitting at desks right next to each other. Each kid a few feet away from me, but we're told, be quiet, don't interact with each other. It's so unnatural. Education's barely improved in 200 years because it's dominated by governments, sometimes unions too, and unions and governments fight change. Today, kids have many more exciting choices. Many learn math and science while playing video games. I think their brains work much faster and better than mine did when I was bored sitting in class. Shama Haider covers technology for Forbes, and she says education finally is getting some creative destruction. It absolutely is. You know, there's never been a better time than to be in education, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a student, or you're a parent. I mean, you have so many options these well, days. But the teachers worry that, hey, this computer is going to replace me. You know, the, the technology today is not meant to replace teachers. In fact, it's making their job so much easier. It's making it better. So do you remember when you were in school and it used to be that you would go listen to the classes and then you would go do homework? So many of these models are flipping that around so that you go home and listen to the boring lectures and when you come to the classroom you're actually doing homework with a teacher where you can get one-on-one -on -one attention. One of the first innovations in education happened because of YouTube. A guy named Sal Khan made a YouTube video to tutor his cousin who lives out of state. I worked out well so then I started tutoring her brothers and more cousins and all the rest and I had to do the same lecture over and over again so I had a friend who who said hey Sal why don't you uh, put some of your lectures on YouTube I decided to give, <laughs> give it a shot welcome to the presentation on basic edition soon thousands watched his lectures he got letters from the Middle East Africa what Saul Khan has done is amazing. Now Khan is funded by Bill Gates, and he offers web lectures on everything from history to economics to computer science. His videos are viewed millions of times. And now in a regular school, some kids watch Khan's videos, where they learn more than they learned listening to their teacher lecture. It's really helping us learn a lot more. It's exciting that he gets kids so excited about math. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> when I'm at home and I have some time, I just log on and it's way more fun to do math. And this is really working, making a difference? It's working, it's making a difference. Khan Academy, for example, has 10 million users now. They've got 6,500 videos. And it's not just traditional students, it's not just the kids who go home and from school and watch, but it's someone who's maybe 65 years old who didn't get to finish school, who gets to go back and, and have that education and then maybe get their GED, maybe go back to college. At much less cost. Free, actually. A few private schools are now almost totally based on personalized computer learning. Shama's excited about something called Alt School, and you can see why watching this video the school made. At my old school, everybody had to learn the same exact thing at the same exact time. And here, you get to learn at your own level. School shouldn't be some place that you're forced to go. It should be some place that you want to go. We have something called a playlist, which is kind of like our own personal work cloud. I got a playlist card on debate so I could learn about that, you know, while other kids may kind of be into coding. And this is Blossom. They started with 15 kids first year, went to 500. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, the school in Brooklyn that's opening up, they have 650 applications just for 60 slots. It's a very personalized approach to learning. It's not every kid doesn't learn the same way. And there's finally systems that are allowing them to learn at their pace. And they get so into the video games. The school much. is cool. Can you believe that? <laughs> For older people, she's excited about a company called Udemy. It teaches all kinds of skills. Who do you want to be? An entrepreneur? A mobile developer? A better photographer? But how are you going to learn what you need to know? Spend thousands of dollars to attend an in-person workshop? Or read yet another boring book on the topic? What if there was a better way to master a new skill? And I don't get it. What's the better way? So Udemy is really cool because it'll let anybody be a teacher and anybody be a student. So why, for example... Hence, Udemy means you academy. A, a you academy. And, you know, you can make your own courses. So, for example, if I wanted to learn how to be a journalist, right? I was a budding journalist. I could take a class from you. And you could teach a class on how to be a world-class journalist. And apparently I could make money. You uh, could. Forbes has headline, here's <laughs> one new college grad made $60,000 in a month. You can make money for the things that you know how to do best. And then the student pays me? The student pays you and they take a cut.
They take 50% actually, <laughs> he does. But this is cheaper than going to college, going to trade school? You know, it's if you want the knowledge, if you want the accreditation, that you're not going to get that from Udemy, right? This is not going to get a degree you can put on the wall. But if there's a skill I really want to learn, whether it's photography or baking or, you know, design, if it's something I really want to learn that's going to give me real life skills, then this is a great platform for it. Does the establishment resist this creative destruction? There are services that, that are out there now that are also allowing the current institution to self-disrupt. And they want to self-disrupt? No, they don't, but they <laughs> have to if they want to keep making money. I loved it when that boy said school should be interesting. How wonderful if it could be. A novel concept.